Hi there, it's Jo with the OK Group, and I've been asked three questions constantly over the last month, month and a half. So I'm going to do a video blog, a vlog, to uh, talk about the insights that we've gained from doing some research on all of the three questions we keep constantly getting asked. One is, should I break a lease uh, if I find the home that I really like, or should I like live out the lease and then start looking for a home? Those kind of questions. Two, Brexit, what's it done? What's it all about? And three, what kind of market are we in? Uh, everyone keeps saying, you know, it's the seller's market, it's the seller's market. So I'll actually start with that one because that's fun. The LA Times and a lot of your other newspapers and media would be jazz handsing their little hearts out, get, creating some kind of buzz that it's a seller's market. But in fact, it's called a normal market. The sellers are getting what they want for their homes. And because our rates are still so darn low, the buyers are getting an affordable mortgage. So when it's affordable for a buyer and the seller's able to sell at their terms, that's a normal market. If for some reason we were all given some like um, ultimatum, you all must buy this year or your legs are going to fall off, that's the seller's market because they're getting us to kind of buy no matter what. But in fact, it's actually a great time to buy because the rates are so low. So it's a normal market. But of course, as buyers, we tend to only see prices going up, prices going up, sellers getting what they want. So we hear it's a seller's market. What we're not hearing, lots of these buyers are buying 1.8% faster that month over month because they're so excited about getting an affordable mortgage that almost competes with their rent. So in essence, you hear less of that, but it puts it as a normal market, all right? Moving on to a lease. All right, so for example, if I am a renter and my security deposit or my monthly payments like 2,000, 2,500, maybe even 300, but I'll use two just for easy math for me. Um, and the, the, the property prices are going up probably about 10 grand, maybe maybe a bit less per month at the moment. Let's just say you decide my lease is up in three months or four months. So if you do your maths, the property prices are going to go up, say, 30, 40. Let's do 30 just to be conservative. And you're worried about this oh so precious $2,000 security. By saving you $2,000 security, you're probably costing yourself about $28,000 by waiting for the market, by waiting for your lease to be up. Now listen, if your landlord's anything like me in Los Angeles with a, with a bunch of properties, I can rent out my properties probably as fast as the, the actual tenant gives me their notice to move out. So I'm, t I'm generally renting my properties out before they've actually moved, okay? If that tells you anything, I'm also able to raise the rents with that inflation because as much as property prices are going up, so are rents, like most of you are seeing. So if they're anything like me, they're actually dying for you to give notice. So I wouldn't be too worried about being sucked, in, sucked into a, a lease. All right, third thing, oh, take a big breath. Pregnancy is killing me with this how do you breathe thing. Anyway, so Brexit, what's it doing? Now the exciting thing is, is it, it actually... The market responded in a way we didn't expect. We expected a little bit of mass hysteria. Now there was over there, poor Europeans. We got some properties over there going on, on the market. People are trying to bring their American dollars back over here. Great news for us. Um, but what it did do is the Fed en ended up saying, we're not gonna do anything with the rates. Are you kidding? We were expecting the rates to go up at the end of this year and next year. But because of what's happening over in Europe, they dropped down from 3.625 overnight to 3.5. We were expecting them to be about five any time around January. So it's a great time to still buy and it's made our properties over here more desirable. So if you're looking to sell, people are bringing their money back into America. All right, you guys, have an amazing weekend. We'll speak to you soon. Let me know if there's any other questions you have and we'll research and find the answers for you. All right, bye.